I've got some breaking Doctor Who news. I also have a baby. Hello, welcome to my channel where I talk about all the geeky pop culture that I like, including Doctor Who, and especially when there's Doctor Who breaking news. Now, the nature of breaking news is you never know when it's going to come, and therefore you can be caught off guard, like the fact that you're the only parent in the house, and there's a little one to look after. Mm. Hence why he has to be in the video too. But he's cute, so you know. Say hello. So hopefully he won't start crying during this. So, breaking news, the 10th Doctor is going to be meeting up with some classic companions. This is, of course, Big Finish news, and like Big Finish sometimes do, they really, they announce stuff quite far in advance, because sometimes they record stuff really far in advance, and this is a new set called Classic, Doc classic Doctor New Companion, no, other way around, New Doctor Classic Companions, uh, or 10th Doctor Classic Companions. It's basically a play off the old uh, Classic Doctor's New Monsters theme that we had uh, in the box sets that I've got down there, but I don't have a hand free to pick them up right now in terms of titling. And we're going to be getting, I think it's three or four, th three stories in this box set of the 10th Doctor meeting up with some classic companions. Who are those classic companions, you ask? Well, the first one and the one that runs throughout the series is K9. The robot dog is back. Now, this is specifically a K9 just after the Time War, who the Doctor, Tempt Doctor, finds floating in space. So that's quite exciting. I, I've just been, I haven't listened to them yet, but I've got all the Gallifreys. So I'm presuming he somehow, it's it's a post-Gallifrey, post-Time War canine. We've got the synopsis of the three stories. The first one's called Splinter by John Dorney. That, the, the synopsis of that is the Doctor finds canine floating in space and sets off to clear up Time War fallout. First, they find Leela protecting a village from... <laughs> The Sprigan. So Leela survived her exploits in the Gallifrey Time War series, which I haven't listened to yet. That's good to know. The Stuntman by Lizzie Hopley. The Doctor and K-9 visit a virtual world of movie stuntmen to help Nyssa escape a Time War criminal scheme. Now Nyssa was revealed fairly recently by Russell T Davis in his uh, lockdown special story about uh, Sarah Jane's funeral that her and Tegan a couple these days so is this gonna reference that it'll be good to see i hope they do and finally the quantum of axos by roy gill ace investigates a new tech company which seems too grand to be true and meets the doctor and canine as axos escapes its trap we've had a lot of ace stuff in the last sort of year or so ace an older ace running a charitable earth foundation we've had her in our own book which i still haven't finished reading I'm about halfway through um, at, ch at childhood's end she showed up in class she showed up in another big finish as well so uh we've had older race quite a lot recently i like the fact that they're building on that that's quite exciting and i just see her meet another doctor i wonder if they'll reference events in the book like her meeting the 13th or you know obviously they can't be too overt about it but they could drop some subtle hints that would be quite nice with the ace one there's a nice quote from producer david richardson where he says they took some cues from school reunion where the 10th doctor met back up with sarah jane smith having emotional exciting stories that cut to the core of doctor who about moving on but never forgetting and always embracing the past which i think is going to be lovely to see it's going to be great to see david Tennant with all these old companions and as the only one of the modern well i say only one obviously we've got christopher Eccleston coming up and doing some as well but as the main one of the new doctors that has done so much big video yeah are you excited yeah, as the main one that uh, the new Doctors has done so much new big finish, uh, it, you know, it, it would be great to get some 11th and 12th Doctor stuff as well eventually, one day when they're ready to do it. But we've got 10, we've got David Tennant, he's willing to do it. Let's get more stuff from him. I wonder if this, it doesn't say anything in the press release or any of the articles I've read about this, but I wonder if it's going to take place during that revisiting of old companions that he did at the end of uh, his life after he was... You know, at the end of time. Yeah. At the end of time. Because he... Russell D. Davis has said that he went on... You know, we only saw him visiting the modern companions. But actually, during that time, he visited all of his companions that he's ever had during that period. What well, after he got him swamped with the radiation and before he finally regenerated. So maybe this takes place in that time as well. Who knows? Yeah, I know. It's exciting, isn't it? Look, let me know in the comments below. Are you going to be buying this? Are you excited about it? What other companions would you want to see the Tenth Doctor meet if they do a sequel to this set? We know we're getting uh, Tegan, Nyssa 
and Ace in this set, what other classic companions would you like to see the Tenth Doctor meet in a future set? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll be back for more videos soon. Thank you very much, and goodbye from me. And uh, you're going to say goodbye, Rowan? Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>